can tell, the pitmasters are making the magic happen every time you walk through the doors of Kreitz Market. The delicious smell of smoked meats greets your every visit. Not going to be in Lockhart for a while? Kreitz Market ships nationwide. Stop by Kreitz Market at 619 North Colorado in Lockhart or find us on the web, kreitzmarket.com. That's K-R-E-U-Z market.com. No sauce, no forks, just good taste naturally. First Lockhart National Bank has been meeting the needs of Caldwell County since 1889. We now serve Travis County with a branch on Slaughter Lane and Hayes County with a branch in Kyle, plus a brand new location in San Marcos. As a member of each of the communities we serve, our relationship bankers, tellers, loan officers, and managers are committed to achieving the financial goals of every customer, one interaction at a time. So whether you're dreaming of a new house, buying a boat, or sending your children off to college, First Lockhart National Bank will be there every step of the way with financial services and guidance you can trust. If you're more of a my money works for me kind of person, you're going to love free Kasasa cash checking from First Lockhart National Bank. With a few simple qualifications, your account will earn a great rate on the money you have with us. To learn more about Kasasa cash checking, head on over to First Lockhart National Bank. Parenting is full of surprises. You never know what to expect. So after our son was born, I called my Texas Farm Bureau insurance agent to set up a life insurance policy in case something happened to me. Sawyer is now two. And we'll soon have a sister. There's no one else I would trust with protecting my family. Coverage and discounts are subject to qualifications and policy terms and may vary by situation. Hello, Americans. Mark Twain said, a broken promise is better than no promise at all. Well, you and I both know when we make a promise, we keep it. Chuck Nash Auto Group has been doing that for years. They offer up the kind of one-on-one -on -one service that will follow the taillights of your pre-owned vehicle deep into that gorgeous Texas sunset. By the way, Chuck Nash will give you $750 more for your car, buy or trade. And now you know the best of the story. All right, we're here at Lockhart Stadium where the Lockhart Lions will be taking on the Hendrickson Hawks. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, we had the same opponent in basketball for girls, and here we are playing them for boys soccer. So tonight we have the number one team out of District 18, Class 5A, uh, the Hendrickson Hawks. They are 13-6-2 overall. They are 12-2 in district play. They took first in District Seven or District 18. On the other side, the Lockhart Lions, 7-7-3 seven, seven, overall. They were 6-5-3 and three in district play, and they took fourth. Uh, so they're out of District 17. Uh, unfortunately, with having a couple weeks off from broadcasting, um, I've decided or my body decided to allow bro uh, my bronchitis to get back in. So I will be going on and off with the mic as I'm getting ready to go into one of my coughing episodes, so you don't have to listen to that. But uh, it's a beautiful night for soccer. The wind is blowing, basically, if you're looking at your computer screen right now, the wind is blowing from left to right. So um, one team will have a slight advantage. It's not like it's a 100-mile-an-hour wind, but there will be a slight advantage going from left to right. If you've got the wind at your back, you might be able to possess a little bit better than normal. Um, as far as the two teams are concerned, Hendrickson has been blowing people out here in the playoffs and uh, they're definitely going to have to be someone to be taken seriously. And then with Lockhart, they play such great defense. They keep the scores low. They keep the scores uh, in a situation where they have a chance to win every night out there. And uh, that is something that we'll be watching for tonight. Tonight, my, my crew is me. It's me running the production. Um, I'm doing the... Uh, play-by-play play for you so uh, I will get your scoreboard up and running and everything as we go along and kind of show you what's going on there and try to keep you up to date with that on the other side of the situation I have QA Rosie Vega she is a softball superstar and is uh, it must be nice to be young enough to be able to continue to play softball as I am not 
anymore. And um, Rosie is going to be my QA. She has been for the last few games. And glad to have you on board with me, Rosie. And uh, we'll get this thing going here pretty quick. We're about four minutes away from kickoff. So real quickly, I know that uh, Blake Box is one of their key players. He's one of their captains. And uh, Xavier um, Martinez, he wears number 14. He is also a captain. And I've been watching these two guys warm up, and they're very skilled. One is pretty big guy. The other one's not so big, but both of them have tremendous foot skills. Another guy that I've been watching for them is going to be wearing number 23, and his name is Dylan um, Kamordzi. He is tall. He is athletic, and he is strong. Uh, he's a big kid, so he's going to have to be one we'll have to watch out for as well. They'll have Evan Abbott in goal. And that is your Hendrickson Hawks. Again, they were 13-6-2 and, 13, six and two overall in their season this year. On the other side for the Lockhart Lions, uh, you know, we had senior night the other night in which they got a big victory. Um, Going to go through the seniors real quick. Uh, number two, Ivan lopez Myers. He is a senior defender. Uh, Ulysses Mania, he is a defender also. Um, Abraham Perez Maldonado, who is a forward. We have Daniel Sanchez Diaz Jr., who's a, usually a midfielder. Sometimes he plays wing, sometimes he plays defender. But he has been a highlight reel for us this year and has played well in the games that I've covered. Um, Jose Ruiz uh, Mendoza is a forward in the wing, has had a good season. Uh, Ismael De Leon, he has been very strong for us. And... Uh, it's hard to believe he's a senior because I remember when he was playing as a freshman and it's hard to believe that I've been here for that long to watch his career, but another senior that's been here for four years. Um, obviously, the guy that can switch the field, he's one of the greatest punters I've seen in person in a long time. And he's also a great field goal kicker, a place kicker, and that is going to be Alfredo James James. Built like a middle linebacker. Probably should have played middle linebacker in high school football, but instead he was a punter and a kicker for us. Then you have Victor Sanchez, a defender. Uh, Hoguer Penazola. And he is a midfielder. And then, I, oh, there is one more. Jose Carrillo Soto, and he is a midfielder as well. Uh, in goal will be uh, Pedro Hernandez, senior keeper. And that will do it for the seniors. Both teams are... Huddled up across the field. We're getting ourselves ready to start this uh, by district game. Winner moves on. Loser goes home. But it's going to be a big one. Now, I don't know how we managed to get the home field against the number one seed, but I wasn't complaining. It's better to call the game here than being in Pflugerville. So, again, we're just kind of waiting for the referees and everybody to get going, and then we'll have ourselves a contest here. We're going to take a real quick break. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network, fueled by Vibe Live. Dr. Peterson and his staff at Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic are here to serve you. We've been voted best chiropractor and best chiropractor's office for five years running. Are you bothered by headaches, back pain, or neck pain? Call Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic at 512-668-4163 to make your appointment. Mention this ad to receive a consultation, exam, and x-rays if needed for only $20. Call 512-668-4163 and begin your journey to hope, healing, and health. Johnny and Sons Pain and Body has been Lockhart's premier collision repair and auto body shop since 1967. Certified iCar Standard, the highest ranking in the collision industry. For all your collision needs, come by and see Johnny and Sons 400 Blackjack in Lockhart. Johnny and Sons Pain and Body, we won't steer you wrong. Chisholm Trail Barbecue features slow cooked brisket, hot sausage, beef, and pork ribs done the right way. In a town famous for barbecue, Chisholm Trail is where the locals come to eat. Visit Chisholm Trail Barbecue, 1323 South Colorado in Lockhart, and come by after the game. Chisholm Trail Barbecue stays open until midnight after ever home football game. Kpart Design Build LLC is a general contractor who resides and serves Lockhart residents and surrounding communities. Kpart Design Build LLC is a local builder established in 2006 and is insured, bonded, and accredited by the Better Business Bureau. Kpart Design Build LLC provides both residential and commercial new construction, remodeling services, and specializes in kitchen and bath design. 
Call 512-784-6940 or email kpartdesignbuild at yahoo.com to schedule a consultation with free estimate. Follow them on Facebook at Kpart Design Build and at Kpart Kitchen Bath. Green Group Holdings is a proud sponsor of Lion Country. Green Group is an environmental services company that specializes in the planning, implementation, and operation of waste disposal, recycling, reuse, and restoration projects. These projects are designed with the environment and safety as the highest priorities, with an approach that provides significant value to the communities in which they're located. Currently, Green Group is proposing a development in northern Caldwell County. 130 Environmental Park. This proposed project will be a state-of-the-art, environmentally friendly, mixed-use development a few miles north of Lockhart, Texas. All right, we're back here at Lockhart Field, and it looks like we're getting ready to have the National Anthem. All right, going to see if we have any announcing of starting lineups because the young man is kind of two, built, two rooms over, so I'm not sure. Real quickly, before they get started here, uh, give some shout-outs to uh, uh, sponsorships that do not have commercials with us. Uh, the Pearl, Ronda Reagan Realty, Diesel Dogs, Snap Fitness, State Farm, and Westies. And we are getting ready to go here as we have a pretty good crowd both teams traveling well. Again, my QA tonight is Rosie Vega. At the conclusion of tonight's game, we'll have your Johnny and Sons defensive players of the game and your Chuck Nash offensive players of the game. Lockhart will be kicking off going from right to left on your dial. It is Hendrickson in all white with black trim. And Lockhart in all maroon with white trim and black socks. Just waiting on the officials to get this game started. And fortunately, it looks as though we will have a center judge with two linesmen. Referees talking to the, ref, uh, the players and off we go. Lockhart has possession. Number four seed Lockhart versus number one seed Hendrickson. Hendrickson out of Pflugerville. They just send the ball way down the line and defenders are there and cut it off very easily. Box was able to get it down the field and he's going to uh, play it up to Arroyo. They'll get it back to Box. He sends it down the line. Looks like they're gonna do a lot of maybe looking to set up a lot of through balls, direct passing. Lockhart's doing a pretty good job of standing tall, even though they're pretty much player for player. They're much shorter than their opponents tonight. We'll see if they can keep up with our quickness because we definitely have that. Ball's played to the central line, and nobody's Green there. Green Holdings is a proud sponsor of Lion Country. Green, Green Group, Group is Holdings is a proud sponsor of Lion Country. Excuse me for that. Didn't mean to hit that. The Lions are going to be in trouble if the keeper doesn't come out. He finally does, and he gets there first as 
they were, got a through ball to Kamordzi, and he was trying to break free, and he finally did, and he just about finished that thing off. Right now, just back and forth. Not a whole lot of action going on as far as ball control. Both teams filling each other out right now. So far, I wouldn't even say possession-wise, either team has gotten much going as far as ball control. It might be one or two passes, and both teams are just losing possession. This is the first time that anybody's actually controlled the ball any time whatsoever as Rios was trying to go down the left sideline and was finally kicked out of bounds by De Leon. Actually, that was Gonzalez. Corner kick in action here, first one of the game. Actually pretty nice. And they were able to stick it in. I don't know how he got that to go into the goal. He put a curve on it. That was for sure. And we're talking 37-26 mark. They're already on the board on a corner kick. And I'm trying to find the guy's number. It looks like it was number 17. So Arroyo, Arroyo was the one to put the corner kick in at the 37-26 mark. So Lockhart down already against this squad off a corner kick. Lions are down one to nothing already. Playing within the back, cent uh, back center field. Diaz Jr. was able to get it up the field. Ball's played out. Again, they have a lot of height on us, a lot of size. I would, just by looking at it so far early on, I think we're the quicker squad. A lot of pressure by Hendrickson early on as they're up one nothing here in the first half. Going to call foul on Lockhart, so it'll be a free kick. And they quickly start, send it straight down the middle of the field. And it goes out of bounds, so a goal kick to Lockhart. Actually, no, they're going to call a corner kick. This will be the second corner kick. Now, I doubt very seriously that this guy is going to be able to curve it like he did last time and hit the back post and have it go in. That's literally what happened the last time they kicked the corner kick. This is Rios this time. Line drive cleared out by Lions. Arroyo tried to get to the ball, got upended, and they're going to call the foul as that will be on um, Bustros Miranda. He upended him. A free kick from about 30 yards out directly on. And I do not see the number on the guy that's getting ready to take it, but he is a big, strong guy. I'm expecting just a line drive right towards the upper 90s. going to try to stick one in with some, with some gas on it. It looks like it's number four, Cassettis. Right-footed kicker. Clears the wall and just misses. So that will be the second shot for them. They have two corners, two shots, and they're up one nothing here early on. Just under 35 minutes to go. Remember, 40 minute halves for high school soccer. Just under 35 minutes to go first half. Hendrickson, one, Lockhart, zero. And here comes Hendrickson again. Kind of a wind at their back, nothing major. Beautiful night for soccer. The Lions do a great job of getting it off the line and getting it out of there.
both teams playing pretty physical right now, trying to kind of flex their muscles, if you, if you will. A little bit of pushing and shoving going on, trying to intimidate one the other. Cantera did a good job of getting it out of there, kind of got clipped in the ankle as, as he got done with the play. So if they're going to let them play like this with all the pushing and shoving from behind, it could get a little dicey here as the game goes on. Good job by uh, Sanchez Diaz Jr. to get that header out of bounds and stop the drive there. Long throw in. They do a good job of getting it out. They play it up forward to Cruz, and he'll play it back. Oh, a miss, miss pass. Camordozzi has it, gets knocked up by Cantera. And for a minute, minute there, I thought we were going to see another opportunity at a shot on goal, but Cantera did a great job of getting it out of there. Martinez was trying to win the ball. He and Cruz are John a little bit. James James is on the field. I know the school has video on it, so if you do want to watch the video and maybe listen to us, get to the school's website, pick that up. You can watch the game and listen to us. We would have to pay hundreds of dollars just to show this contest. NFHS has a, I call it the piracy on all high school playoff games. They cover everything and they make you pay big time bucks if you want to let people see it. Cruise with it, down the line it goes. Lockhart trying to get through. Cruz gets tripped up. No call. Ball's loose in the box, and they finally are able to get it out of there as Martinez clears it out. I'm a little surprised we didn't get a foul in the box. Pata throws it in. Hendrickson gets it right back. Come on, Dorsey gets knocked up, and he's talking. I can see him talking. He did not like that tackle. Good job on the back side by Sanchez uh, Diaz Jr. The senior clears it out of there. He's playing defense tonight. Not so much up front in the midfield area. I'm sure that will change as the game goes on because these guys do interchange every once in a while throughout the game. Arroya going to throw it in. Scored that corner kick. Lions are just trouble, having trouble keeping control of the ball right now. Hendrickson's big and strong. They're kind of knocking us off the ball a little bit, and we haven't really been able to get any possession going on. Right now, Penizola is trying to get, get something going. The ball is stolen away, and Hendrickson has it right back. Lockhart has not been across the 50-yard line very often at all. Some things are going to probably take place here is Kumordozzi has been knocked down several times. That's a big guy. To knock him down, you got to be hitting him pretty hard. And they've knocked him down several times. He's been asking the ref for some calls. Hasn't gotten one yet. Lockhart tries to get it going. They do De Leon with the moves. Trying to get around the corner. Gets it outside. Carillo cuts it back to the middle. Gives it up. A shot will be taken from the outside, and the keeper makes a great save. Bustos Miranda from about 25 to 30 yards out, upper 90. Against any other keeper probably they've seen this year, that's a goal. That would have been a beautiful goal from about 30 yards out. But not tonight. Abbott got up there in the upper corner and knocked it away. Corner kick for Lockhart. Some substitutions are coming in for Lockhart. And the man running in is going to be the guy taking a kick. And I want to say, let me look. I think that's De Leon. I 
They're playing on the far side. The numbers don't look very big from up here. Lockhart loses control of the ball. Martinez one-on-one -on -one with our defender. All he's got to beat is one man. He gets around the corner, shoots, and he scores. Martinez was able to beat his man and sticks it home in the corner. It's now two to nothing. 28-53 to go here in the first half. So their captain, Xavier Martinez with the goal. Unassisted. So two to nothing here, just under 30 minutes, or actually just under 29 minutes to play. So things have not started out very well for Lockhart. Three shots for Hendrickson with two corner kicks already. Lockhart with one shot and one corner kick. Here they come again. This time Munoz has the ball over to Martinez. Martinez is big, he's fast, he's strong, he's, and he's very talented. They've got, Lockhart's got a breakaway. Cruz sends a through ball down the right side. Lockhart trying to win it. And DeLeon couldn't get to it. It'll go out of bounds for a corner kick. Second corner kick tonight for Lockhart. They need to make one of these happen. 28 minutes to go first half. Two to nothing. Hendricks and Hawks already on top. They clear it out as that was Munoz that was able to head it out of there. They get it up to the big boy up front. And a great job on Kumordozi. Uh, he tried to get a through ball two to Martinez, and we were able to get it out of there. That was uh, Cantera that was able to keep it out. Ball's played out here to the left side. Carillo going down the left side, sends a through ball, and Arroyo is there to get it out. Lockhart is definitely playing a great soccer team tonight. These guys are very skilled, and they're big. Lockhart does a good job of keeping them off the run there, and they're going to have to play it back to their defenders. They chip it over the top. Nobody's there. The keeper runs on to it. Hernandez was able to come out with it. High punt. And it goes out of bounds. I don't think he meant to do that. He's a little frustrated already because they're already down two to nothing and they haven't even played half of the first half yet. Kamorzi is going to go out. Checking in for him was going to be White. Martinez will throw it in for Hendrickson. 2 nothing. Hendrickson on top here early on. By district playoffs. And they're going to call the foul on Bustos Miranda. So they'll get a free kick. A little bit to the right of the goal. Approximately 30 yards away. And the same guy that was able to Put that corner kick in. Arroyo will have the free kick from the right side. Let's see if he tries to curve the ball this time. He's got a wall of guys on the back side of the goal. He may be chipping it in. And he is. Lockhart does a great job of getting it out of there. It looked like Cantetta was the one that came out with it. <clears throat> the ball is stolen away by Box. They'll get it down to Munoz. They're all tangled up in the goal. Martinez gets away. Oh, and he about scored again. Great job defensively for the Lions. As Martinez, definitely worth the, worth the price of admission for Hendrickson tonight. I'm sure they'll be seeing that kid playing soccer on Saturdays at some college. He is very, very talented. Foul called on the Lions. That one was on Pata. And Arroyo will take the kick from the right side. He'll have that wall of guys again. I'm guessing he's going to be looking at Martinez, though, in the middle. 
Martinez is their tall guy on that side. Sun's in their eyes, so this is going to be a good thing for the Lions as far as Hendrickson trying to see the ball to head it in. But transverse side, the Lions are looking right into the sun. Under 25 minutes to go first half. He's going for the shot this time, and he just missed. This kid, is he can curve the ball. Arroyo can curve the ball. That thing looked like it was going to go through the uprights, and all of a sudden it dropped just over the post on top of the net. That is the fifth shot here in the first half, just under 24 minutes to go in the first half. Two to nothing Hendrickson already. Goals by Arroyo off a corner kick, and Martinez just manhandled his way through the, the line. Give a shout-out to Rosie Bega, my QA, doing her work for me tonight. She's been with us for every soccer game this year. I want to say she did softball with us the other night, too. The Lions send it down the field. They're doing a lot of just kind of kick and chase right now. Not a lot of possession going on. I think they're getting a little flustered here, and they're starting to panic a little bit. They've gone away from their passing game, and they're going more to the just kick and hopefully, you know, they're trying to run on to it. Now that Hendrickson has a two-goal lead, they're trying to get more possession out of this. Cruz, doing what he does best, gets behind. He got his shirt grabbed. Referee must have missed that one. I saw it from about 75 yards away, but they seem to miss it on that one. Cruz is half the size of every one of their defenders, and the kid just grabbed him from the back of the shirt and pulled him backwards, and nothing called. Okay, for a minute there, I thought the referee called a foul, but everybody was just standing there. Nobody was moving. Finally, the keeper came out and got the ball. Here come the Lions. Miranda sends it down the line to Cruz. And a good job there by Cassettis to get it out. Cruz not giving up on it, though. That's the thing I love about Cruz. He will not give up. He will continue to fight up front. It doesn't matter if he is half their size. He's going to go after him. Ball's kicked out of bounds, and Hendrickson will get it back. Coming out on 21 minutes to go, first half. 40 minute halves here in high school soccer. Two to nothing, Hendrickson on top. Number one seed out of District 18 against the Lockhart Lions, the number four seed out of District 17. Five to one in shots so far. Hendrickson <coughs> kind of owning the totals there. The ball went out of bounds. It'll be a goal kick for the Lions. While we have a dead ball, going to go ahead and give a shout-out to the parents, Clarence and Roberta Smith, watching or watching, listening to the game tonight in Austin, Texas, following the Lions. In the event that the wife, Vanessa Smith, and her mother-in-law, Louise, if they're listening, hello to you all. The ball is played out. Here we go. I saw something I never thought I'd ever see. Somebody actually knocked... Uh, Alfredo James James off his feet a little bit. I didn't think he made could do that. He's a pretty big guy. Lions play it to their defense. And right now it's, you know you're, I mean, when you have the confidence of a good team because Hendrickson's got five guys playing defense, five guys playing up front, and they're just kind of playing, kicking, kicking back and forth, saying that our five guys will beat you guys. De Leon gives a little push from behind, and they're going to call a corner kick. 
again, if you would like to watch the contest, you can. You'll have to go to the school's website, go to the boys' soccer schedule, and click on the link there, and you'll be able to watch the game if you want to watch that and listen to us. They, they sent it down the line. They were trying to get Martinez as Alvera, or Olvera was there. He was able to keep him from getting around the corner. If Martinez gets a step on us, we're going to be in trouble. <coughs> a throw-in will go towards... Uh, Hendrickson's way. Martinez will throw it in. Ball stolen away by Franco. Good job defensively by uh, Rodriguez Gonzalez as he was able to play that out. Down the corner it goes. Martinez flicks it in. The keeper's able to get there. That was a little bit of a dangerous play. It looked like he was going to just flick a pass in there, and he shot instead. Six shot now for Hendrickson. 18 minutes to go here in the first half. Two to nothing. Hendrickson on top. The Lions are looking a little shell-shocked right now. I, I know they knew this team was good. But the Lions are good, too, and I think that, you know, when they came in, they thought that they would be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them, and, man, they came out and punched us right in the face early on with the corner kick. I mean, the guy curled it into the goal from he was at the corner, even with the goal, and he curled it to where it hit the back post and went in the goal. And then later on, their star player, uh, Xavier uh, Martinez, was able to score one, making it 2 to nothing. Lockhart trying to get something going here. Shot is taken. Cassettes was there. De Leon took the left-footed shot. But the big guy, Cassettes, was able to get his body in front of it, and they're coming the other way with it. The only word I can come up with for Cassettes is he's like a tank. He's a thick kid. There's nothing little about him. He's a big, thick kid, but he moves well. And he literally was playing goalkeeper in the goal box. And he's not even a goalkeeper. He just used his body to keep the ball out of the net. Lions trying to mount an attack here. They have two shots on the night. Trying to get another one. Nice job by... Uh, Bustos Miranda, as he was able to get things under control. Now Martinez gets the steal, plays it forward. Mares was able to get it out of there. Here we go the other way, Bustos. He's trying to make a move. He'll get it up front to Cruz. Out to the right wing it goes. They're looking for a shot, but Hendrickson is doing a great job of staying in front of the ball. Man goes down, ball's going the other way, and here comes Blake Box, the captain, out of the way. Holy cow, that was amazing. Anthony Pata did a donkey kick. I've not seen that in a long time. The ball was going over his head, so he flicked his feet up. He went to his hands and was basically almost standing on his hands and kicked it out with the back of his feet. I haven't seen that in forever. Here we go the other way. Maldonado with it. Mendoza to Cruz. De Leon gets under it. Oh, he, he knows it too. He's upset with himself. De Leon got under it and kicked it through the uprights. Will credit a shot with that one as the Lions have started putting some Life into their sails as they're starting to get an attack going here with 15 minutes to go in the first half. Two to nothing, Hendrickson on top. <coughs> Pata was able to get it down the line. Ball stolen away. A lot of physical play going on. Cruz with it up front for the Lions. Tries to get a shot. 
But Cassettis is there again, the tank. Let's the ball hit him, and he clears it out. He uses his body well. He may not be as fast as some of these guys, but he can definitely use his body well. Hendrickson, I don't know if they're trying to protect their lead or what, but they really haven't been on attack here lately. The Lions have been pretty much in control here the last five minutes. Now they're coming down the sideline. <coughs> they're going to say a corner kick is coming. This will be the... Oh, I not. What are they doing? Okay, it wasn't a corner kick. I thought they pointed to the corner. It's a throw in. Martinez is trying to get it in the net, and he just missed. Martinez tried to get a shot off. The Lions did a great job of getting in front of him. Then he got it back, and when he shot it, it hit in the side net. Martinez is good. The kid is really good. Xavier uh, Martinez has played well here in the first half for Hendrickson. Here comes Martinez again. He's going left this time. We'll see what he's got left footed. He's trying to get back right. And on the backside is Arroyo. Shot is that keeper and he makes the save. Hernandez with a great save there. The fourth shot for the Lions. I'm sorry, the eighth shot for uh, Hendrickson. So for a while there, the Lions had something going. Now Hendrickson does, and there's a foul. And they're going to card him. And they might red card. They do red card him. So the Lockhart Lions will be playing a man down the rest of the way. Now, in five years of calling, well, actually four, because the first year we didn't call soccer. So of the four years I've called high school soccer, the Lions in four years have gotten a red card in a playoff game in three of those four years. That one was questionable. I'm not going to say it wasn't the right or the wrong call, but it was very questionable. You're only supposed to get a red card if a person comes from behind you or if it's the last defender, and that's what the referee chose to go with. The last defender on a breakaway took his legs out, and he did. He took his legs out. A foul was called, and now we're a man down. So they'll have a free kick from about... 18 yards out, straight on at the goal. Now, I did not see who the number was on it. But the... Nope, there's... Mares is on. Okay, so Mares is still on there. I'm trying to find out who is gone. I cannot see numbers right now on the Lockhart side because they're... Their jerseys are got a funky material on the front, and it doesn't show the number very well. Anyways, we're a man down. Free kick will be taken 18 yards away. Arroyo is on it, as well as Rios. Or no, that's Munoz. Rios takes the shot and misses. So Munoz stepped on the ball, and then Rios took the shot, and he missed. Ninth shot here in the first half. Lions with 10 players, and they will have to play 52 minutes with one less player. Down two to nothing here in the first half. Going back the other way, here come the Lions. See if they can't get something going here. 
Good job by Franco to keep that ball from getting behind him because we had a cruise in the middle of the field waiting on the ball. We're at the 11-minute mark here in the first half. Two to nothing, Hendrickson. Hendrickson, 13-6-2 overall, the number one team out of the District 18 with your Lions 7-7-3 overall, the number four team out of District 17. They tried to go up and get it, but Box was there, and he clears it out. They kick it long. Cruz can't get to it. Fourth shot of the game for the Lions. Oh. Huh. Interesting. That was illegal as heck, and we just got away with it. So we played the ball backwards towards our keeper with our foot, and he picked it up. You cannot do that. That should have been a, a free kick, but they said to play on. So we'll take it. They roll it out to the right side to box. That is um, Hendrickson. Bockhart has... Had possession at times, and then it's like it's almost like Hendrickson is just sitting back there waiting, getting you to wear yourself out a little bit, and then they go attack. And here they come again. They try to go to Martinez, they couldn't, and Rios tried to score, and he couldn't. Actually, that was Franco that took that kick. Arroyo will throw it in. He got everybody not paying attention. A shot taken as Munoz was way over the goal with that one. Two nothing here, just under nine minutes to go here in the first half. Lions down here in by district play for the playoffs. If they lose, they are done for the year. And they've had a pretty good season. This team last year would have made the playoffs easily had we not had COVID strike, because the Lions were playing really well when all that COVID hit last year, and then there were no soccer playoffs. They're going to get around the left side again. And a good job there by the Lions to keep him out. The back line of the Lions have done pretty well, even when Martinez scored his goal. Martinez basically had two and three guys hanging all over him, and he was able to get the shot off, and he's such a big guy that it was he, they were like flies on him. He's just swatting them away and just kept on a-going. Lions are getting more to a kind of a direct style of play instead of that possession they're used to having. Just kind of kicking it and going after it. There goes one to Cruz. Actually, that is not Cruz. Cruz is now battling for the ball. And he wins. Lions are keeping everything in there. Ball is stolen away as Franco's coming down the other side. He's trying to look for Rios, and he kicks it too far, and the Lions are able to snuff it out as Cantu gets it out of there. Or, I'm sorry, Cantera gets it out of there. Maldonado doing a good job of getting through. A man trying to get to the goal. And the keeper's able to come out and get it before he can get the shot off. I want to say that is uh, Pen Penata Cantera. If I'm seeing the number right, that's exactly who that is. Pretty stocky sophomore in there. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<clears throat> a foul is called, and they get Bustos Miranda again with the foul. Cassettis, the big guy with the powerful leg, kicking it from about 55 yards away. I'd almost say he's going to shoot it, and he does. Fortunately, the keeper let it go because he was off to the right a little bit, but he's got the leg for it. He was trying to score. So James James will check back in for the sophomore. Pineda Cantera. Miranda sends it down the line. And there comes Alfredo with it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Caceres. Wow. Caceres knocked James James down. Those are two big guys going. It's like two grizzly bears. 4.45 to go first half. Two to nothing. Hendrickson on top. They're on the run right now. They're on the left side. Rios gets it inside. White back out to Rios, and they'll drop it to the Cassettes on the left. <clears throat> now they're going to switch sides. Franco kicks it into the middle. They've now moved Box up front. Or check that. No, that is Martinez still. Under four minutes to go here in the first half. Box gets it up to Martinez. Pata clears it out. Martinez didn't like what Para did, but it was a legal play. Lions trying to gain control. They're trying to get in there to get some shots off, but I will tell you that Hendrickson's one of the best defensive soccer teams I've seen in high school soccer in a long, long time. Their back line does a fantastic job of just staying in front of the ball, and especially Cassettis. He's daring you to kick it through his body. That's what he wants you to do. Now, if someone like Cruz or, say, a De Leon got to get up against Caceres and they could get around him, there's no way he'd catch him. But you got to get around him first because he does a great job of shielding the ball with his body. Munoz has done a great job for him at the center midfield position. They clear it long. Clear it long up to Rios. But the defense is there as Cantero was able to knock it out of bounds. Rios got around the corner, but it goes out of bounds. I believe it's going to be a corner kick. This will be the third corner kick of the first half for Hendrickson. They have nine shots on goal. Two of them have found the net. And this time it looks like Rios will be the guy taking the corner kick. And he does. Plays it to the near post. And the Lions do a great job of walling the goal because Martinez had three shots on goal and couldn't get a single one of them to go in. A great job by the defense all the way across the board. It was not just one guy. It was two or three just jumping in front of the goal and keeping the ball from going in. Fantastic job by the Lions. A minute 20 to go first half. Munoz steals it away. Lions get it back. Miranda. 
Puts it over the side. And the Lions will lose control. We're at a minute here in the first half. Two to nothing, Hendrickson on top. They try to get it to Munoz, they could not do it. Ball will be out of bounds, but it will stay with Hendrickson. 47 seconds to go, first half. They are in play, looking to shoot. The ball's being carried forward. Still on his foot. Shot is taken and he misses. White would love to have that one back. He had an open goal and he just missed to the right. 25 seconds to go here in the first half. Two to nothing, Hendrickson on top. And they take a Boot, um, Munoz takes a kind of a just a let's see if it'll go in shot and it goes over the goal and that's probably going to do it for the first half and that will do it so the first half score the Hendrickson Hawks 2 your Lockhart Lions 0 that's your first half of action we're going to go ahead and give our sponsorship some love and we'll come back talk a little bit of soccer Design Build LLC is a general contractor who resides and serves Lockhart residents and surrounding communities. Cape Art Design Build LLC is a local builder established in 2006 and is insured, bonded, and accredited by the Better Business Bureau. Cape Art Design Build LLC provides both residential and commercial new construction, remodeling services, and specializes in kitchen and bath design. Call 512-784-6940 or email kpartdesignbuild at yahoo.com to schedule a consultation with free estimate. Follow them on Facebook at Kpart Design Build and at Kpart Kitchen Bath. Green Group Holdings is a proud sponsor of Lion Country. Green Group is an environmental services company that specializes in the planning, implementation, and operation of waste disposal, recycling, reuse, and restoration projects. These projects are designed with the environment and safety as the highest priorities, with an approach that provides significant value to the communities in which they're located. Currently, Green Group is proposing a development in northern Caldwell County, 130 Environmental Park. This proposed project will be a state-of-the-art, environmentally friendly, mixed-use development a few miles north of Lockhart, Texas. For over 15 years, Raina Drywall and Paint has been serving Lockhart and the surrounding counties. We are experienced in all phases of construction. You can count on us for any exterior or interior painting job. Call 512-925-0634 to schedule an appointment with Raina Drywall and Paint today. Come on in to Texas Oil Express, where we can change your oil in under 10 minutes. We also do inspection stickers. Be sure to shop Lockhart first and check us out on Facebook. Voted Caldwell County's best oil change in 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, 2013, 2018, and 2019. Link Realty proudly supports Lockhart Lions Athletics. For all of your real estate needs, come see Link Realty on the square in Lockhart or visit them online at linkrealtytx.com. Meitler Storage is locally owned by Angela and Darren Meitler. Since 2002, Meitler Storage is just off Highway 142 in Maxwell, Texas, across from the Valero. For an appointment, call 512-398-7100. Your business is always appreciated. And a reminder, once a lion, always a lion. Go Lions! For your plumbing service work in Caldwell County, call Darren Meitler from Meitler Plumbing at 512-398-3146. Meitler Plumbing, a local and family business, has been in the Caldwell County area for over 30 years. Voted best plumber in Caldwell County multiple times. Holds a master's license and bonded. Call Meitler Plumbing for your plumbing service work at 512-398-3146. Owner Darren Meitler, a 1989 Lockhart alumni and football captain for the Lockhart Lions. Go Lions! Once a Lion, always a Lion. 
Central Texas Refuse LLC is a highly respected full-service waste collection and recycling company serving Central Texas and the surrounding areas. CTR has proudly been servicing the cities of Round Rock, Cedar Park, and Lockhart for decades. CTR is one of the largest independent waste collection service companies in Central Texas. Founded in 1981, CTR has grown through organic expansion and currently operates from four primary locations in Southeast Austin, Round Rock, Lockhart, and from Wilco, a comprehensive single stream recycling facility in Williamson County. CTR is honored to be a sponsor of Lockhart High School Boys and Girls Sports. Go Lions! All right, we're back here at Lockhart Stadium. Going to give some more love to some of our sponsors that do not have commercials. Uh, first, the Pearl, Ronda Reagan Realty, Diesel Dogs, Snap Fitness, State Farm and Westies. Thank you, folks, all you people that do the sponsoring for Lion Country Broadcast Network. Five years I've been doing this, and um, the boys' soccer team have been in the playoffs three of the four years because we did not call that very first year. All we called was football. Uh, after that, we then stepped in and we started calling the, the other sports, and that's kind of where we're at now. Again, five years for me doing the voice of Lion Country Broadcast Network, and we're going to go ahead and talk a little bit about the first half stats. First for the Lions, they had five shots on or four shots on goal total, and uh, two corner kicks. Uh, for Hendrickson, they had ten shots in the first half, three corner kicks. Um, at 37-26 in the first half, Aaron Arroyo on a corner kick bent it in to the back post. It hit the post and went in the goal. And it was a beautiful, it looked like it was going to be a pass, and maybe that was what it was supposed to be, but it ended up curving, hitting the back post and going into the goal. So early on, the Lions are already shell-shocked because they're two minutes into the game and they weren't given up a goal. Then with 28.53 to go in the first half, Xavier Martinez, and this is a big boy. This is like, how do I explain him? Like a LeBron James of NBA basketball. He's got, he had two and three defenders all over him when he scored this goal. But he's so much bigger and stronger than they are. He just kept flipping them away, flinging them away, and finally got around the last one and ripped a shot. And the keeper had no choice or no chance at it. And it went in. And that's where they went up two to nothing in the first half. And that's where it stopped. Lockhart has been right there with them. They've actually. You know, as the game com you know went on, Lions started picking up possession. I would say, if I had a you know a meter out there, that has probably been 60% possession for Hendrickson. But the Lions are right in there; they've been battling hard. You know that uh, Jorge Cruz, the junior up front, he's going to give it everything he's got. It doesn't matter if you put you know the Hulk out there in front of him; he's going to go up against him. He's not a big guy, but he will battle anybody and everybody, and he's done a great job. Uh, Pedro Hernandez, our senior goalkeeper, has done a good job as well. The first goal, you can't fault him. I mean, that was about as perfect of a shot as you can take. And it was put over the keeper's head, so there's nothing he could have done about it on the backside. The thing that where we kind of uh, struggled at on the backside was we didn't have anybody tall on the back post on the corner kick. It went over his head. It hit the post, and it went into the goal. And that's, I mean, there's, they call those luck shots. But I don't think there were, I mean, yes, it may have been lucky, but still, there was some skill in curving that ball into hitting the back post. And then again, uh, Xavier Martinez has been unbelievable for Hendrickson up front. We've done a great job against him, actually. He should easily have four or five goals already tonight, but our defenders have done a fabulous job of keeping him in control, and they only let him get behind him once, and he, you know, he made him pay. So the Lions have played well. Um, QA tonight, Rosie Vega, thank you very much, lady, for what you do and, and um, listening to the games and watching the games, make sure everything's going okay. Um, we're about a minute and a half away from the second half starting. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to step away real quick, and then I will be right back. So I'm going to turn the mic off. There will be some dead silence for a little bit, but not for long, and I will return.
All right, we're back here. <coughs> so, uh, real quickly, get the mic turned back up. The Lions are taking the field, as are the Hendrickson Hawks. Again, the Lions came in at 7-7-3 seven, seven overall. Um, Hendrickson came in at 13-6-2 overall. Oh, I was wondering why are the players are standing out there. I thought, when are we going to get back to playing some soccer? I realized that the referees weren't out on the field. They are now. So 40 minutes away from the season coming to a conclusion for the Lions, unless they can get something going here, because Hendrickson has, for the most part, kind of you know held the, the upper hand. Not that the Lions don't have a chance because they have played well tonight. We'll just see what the second half brings us. Referees are pointing at the uh, goalkeepers. The Lions will be going from left to right on your screen. Hendrickson going from right to left. Hendrickson in all white with black trim. The Lions in all maroon with black socks. Cantera trying to take it down the right side, getting thrown all around. He's still on his feet. Cantera has decided, oh, wow. Wow. I'm sorry, but... Cantera just got mugged going down the sidelines. Not a call. And then they got him for pushing a little bit later, and he loses the ball. But I'll tell you what, Cantera, he was a man possessed. Start this second half going down the right sideline. Took him, take on four or five guys, beat every one of them until the very end there. Martinez setting up on the left side this time for Hendrickson. As I said in the first half, Martinez will definitely be a player playing at the college level. He is built like a man child out there. Great foot skills. And he can play on either side of the field because in the first half he was on the right side of the field. This half he's on the left. Give a quick shout out to Rosie Bega, my QA. Thank you, young lady, for what you do for me. As Right now, it's been a little bit of a cat and mouse game here in the second half. Not a whole lot of possession for either team. I mean, one, two, maybe three touches, and then the other team steals the ball. So both are amped up here for the second half. The ball sent down the line. Cruz with it. Sanchez Diaz now up front. Lions trying to get something to go. Box clears it out. They'll send it down the line looking for Martinez, but we are there and we're able to get it cleared out. Now they get Martinez. It's going to be a foot race to the ball. He gets around the keeper. Martinez finishes it off. The keeper could not get there first. Martinez went around him to the left, had a defender grabbing at his shirt, and he still scored. So with 37-26 to go here in the second half, they score again. As a matter of fact, it's the exact time as to when they scored their first goal in the first half. Xavier Martinez with his second goal of the night. It's now three to nothing. Hendrickson on top. The eleventh shot of the game. As I said, it was a lot of cat and mouse going on. Not a whole lot of uh, control until that one. They sent a through ball straight down the middle of the field, and there was no catch in Martinez. They tried to grab at his shirt, but still, the keeper came out on him. Um, Probably could have taken a little bit better angle at getting him stopped, but still, Martinez stepped around him and found the back of the net. 
it is crazy. I don't think I've ever, in calling all these these games, I've never seen a soccer game where they scored at the exact same time in each half. Now things are getting a little bit chippy. One of our players is down. I believe that's Hamez. It is. Hamez, Hamez having some trouble with his ankle. But he's up and going again. Now Rios gets it out to White. Good job by Miranda to get it out of there. And then they're going to just, Munoz is just going to rip a shot. I think it's going to be a corner kick. It is a corner kick. So they ripped the shot, but one of our defenders dove, uh, did a diving header, and it went off his head and went straight out of bounds, and they'll get a corner out of it. It'll be White taking the corner this time. Crosses it in. Martinez heads it and just about scored again. The Lions do a good job of keeping it out of the goal that time. But that shot Martinez just took was big time. I don't even know how he got that one to go near the goal. The Lions coming out with it. Cantera down the right side with it. He'll play it up to uh, Diaz, Sanchez Diaz, and he's going to play down the right side. Box knocks him to the ground. It's amazing how when our players go to the ground, nothing is being called right now. <clears throat> They're getting a little frustrated with it. They're just kind of overall getting frustrated now that they're down three to nothing. They try to hit Martinez, and they hit him right in the back of the leg with it, and Lockhart was able to come away with it. Contaran on the right side. Martinez pushing him around. He cuts to the middle with a beautiful move. Para. Back to De Leon. De Leon switches fields. And it'll go out of bounds, so they'll have a throw in. <coughs> so far, fortunately, the, uh, the um, bronchitis has been kept under bay by the cough drops, and we haven't had as much coughing as I was expecting. Tomorrow night, we'll have Lady Lions softball for you at the same time, 7 p.m., Navarro's coming to town, and the Lady Lions coming off a huge 9-1 to victory the other night against the only other undefeated team in district play. So now the Lions, Lady Lions, the only undefeated team left. Martinez gets it. He cuts around the left side. Oh, and fortunately, De Leon was there to knock it away. I thought we were going to be looking at a hat trick. De Leon shuts him down. They're going to get another corner kick. <clears throat> but the Lady Lions were able to beat Anderson 9-1 to the other night. Tamar Reyna, two home runs, one of them a grand slam. I think she had six RBIs on the night off two home runs. She was the shortstop. Already committed to Concordia University for softball. Corner kick is taken. And the keeper goes up and gets it. Great job by the Lockhart keeper. And he'll throw it out. Diaz Jr. Down the right side before they could stop him. It was He just about broke away. We were almost going to see a highlight reel there for a moment. Lions will throw it in. And they say, nope, do it again. So Jamez will throw it in again. Three to nothing is the score. Hendrickson's on top. 32 minutes to go in the ballgame. 
they were looking at Cantera down, Cantera down the right side, but it went out of bounds. So Henderson will get it back. Penazola did a good job of heading the ball down the field, but they were able to steal it away from Cruz. Actually, that is not Cruz. They have moved uh, Sanchez Diaz Jr. up front now. I said these guys are interchangeable. He's gone from playing defense, now he's playing forward. Munoz gets tripped up. They're going to call a foul. They'll get a free kick from about 35 yards. No, I'm sorry, 25 yards away. That was right the first time. About 35 yards away. And it'll be the big guy, the tank, Cassettis. Big leg, big guy. I'm going to guesstimate he's going to shoot this shot. Nope, he'll chip it in. The Lions headed out. Cassatis clear puts it in there. But Rios could not get the shot to go in. It went wide left. We're now down to the 30-minute mark in the ball game. Hendrickson on top, three to nothing. Instead of kicking it long, Lockhart takes a short pass, and now they're trying to get off and running. Rios gets in front. Hendrickson will cross it in the middle to Martinez. Martinez trying to get a shot off. A great job there defensively by the Lions to not let him get that shot. Franco takes it all the way back to his defenders. Box, the captain on the defense, sends it up the line. And the, looks like we're gonna have a throw in. Offsides, oh, they didn't call him offsides. They tried to go to Henderson, but went over his head. They sent it in the middle. The Lions clear it out. And now they call them offsides. They could have got them offsides the last time, too. I don't know what he was looking at the last time, but the guy was at least five yards behind our player, and he did not raise the flag. Nothing came of it. This time they got him with the offsides. Just under 29 minutes to go in the ballgame. Three to nothing, Hendrickson on top. Lions really trying to spread the field out. They're playing on the touch lines right now. So it'll be a throw in for Waterworth. They're going to play it all the way back to their captain box. Para gets in there and gets it knocked away. And they called the foul on the Lions on that one. Martinez is behind the defense, and he scores again. They chipped it over the top. Martinez was there, and he chips it in. He does that with the 27-30 mark here in the second half. A hat trick for Xavier Martinez. He has scored the last three goals. So the Lions, or not the Lions, um, 
Hendrickson's going to change out their keeper now with a 4 to nothing advantage with 27-30 to go in the ball game. Again, I'm going to shout out to Rosie Vega, my QA. Thank you very much for what you do for us. It's the number one seed out of District 18 against the number four seed out of District 17. And Hendrickson is on top. And don't think that the four to nothing score is like, oh, they just Lockhart's not that good. These are the scores that Hendrickson puts up every single game. They have won four to nothing, five to nothing, five to nothing, four to one. They are just putting up monstrous numbers offensively. So far, the Lions have not recorded a single shot here in the second half. <coughs> Lions trying to get around them. Nobody's there, so uh, Hendrickson will play it out. Martinez chips it over the top. And the Lions keeper's there. At this point in the time of the game, four to nothing, if you're Hendrickson and possibly moving on, you might want to think about putting people like Martinez and them on the bench and letting some of these other kids play just to keep people from getting injured. Lions are battling, trying to get the, the ball into the goal area, but Hendrickson's defense is something else. They tried the bicycle kick and missed. Good effort by the Lions. Martinez comes out with it. Rios comes around the corner. Once I can see the jersey, I'll let you know who it was, but that was a great job by Jorge Alvera. There he goes again with a mi uh, mini bicycle kick. Giving it everything he's got here. Hendrickson takes control again. <coughs> they chip it inside. Potter kicks it out. Here come the Lions. <coughs> Munoz steals it. Potter comes back and gets it out of there. And they're going to call a foul on Munoz. Ball thrown in by the Lions. A little bit of delay action going on there for a bit. The Lions will lose control and out of bounds it goes. So it'll be a goal kick. I'm not real sure what what they're doing in a in a kind of an attack there. Um, talking about the Lions, is they're just kind of holding back. At this point in the match, you got to let it all fly. 
par uh, did a good job of slowing the ball down. Then they were able to clear it out. Martinez gets it around the left side. And here he comes again, chips it over the side. In the goal it goes. And it looked like Jackson White, I believe, got that one. That was at the 22-22 mark here in the second half. So Jackson White gets on the board. 5-0. Hendrickson on top. Keeper is down for the Lions. <clears throat> so while we got a break in the action, we're going to go ahead and update the score, and then we're going to go ahead and go to some commercials here. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network, fueled by Vibe Live. You can tell the pitmasters are making the magic happen every time you walk through the doors of Kreitz Market. The delicious smell of smoked meats greets your every visit. Not going to be in Lockhart for a while? Kreitz Market ships nationwide. Stop by Kreitz Market at 619 North Colorado in Lockhart or find us on the web, kreitzmarket.com. That's K-R-E-U-Z market.com. No sauce, no forks, just good taste naturally. First Lockhart National Bank has been meeting the needs of Caldwell County since 1889. We now serve Travis County with a branch on Slaughter Lane and Hayes County with a branch in Kyle, plus a brand new location in San Marcos. As a member of each of the communities we serve, our relationship bankers, tellers, loan officers, and managers are committed to achieving the financial goals of every customer, one interaction at a time. So whether you're dreaming of a new house, buying a boat, or sending your children off to college, First Lockhart National Bank will be there every step of the way with financial services and guidance you can trust. All right, they snuck in starting on me before I got the commercial over with. We're back into play. Clock hasn't started at all. It's been at 22-22 for quite a long time. Now they got it moving. Lions in possession right now. And here comes Hendricksville. Hendrickson on the other way. Lions get it back. And the ball is played out of bounds, so Hendrickson will get it back for a throw in. Lions finally gets control, and then they get, as soon as they got it back, they lose it. A through ball for Martinez, but I don't think he's going to get to that one. De Leon does a great job on it. has been right now it's just been a lot of two and three touch possession then they lose it they chip the ball down the right side does Hendrickson they've got control of it trying to get in to shoot oh and they just missed on that shot as it was uh, Munoz that just about scored there long shot from the outside no good by Munoz the Lions still have not recorded a shot here in the second half. We are at the halfway point of the second half. Five nothing is the score, Hendrickson on top. Lions will play it out. They get control of it. 
Mendoza sends it down the line. And they will lose possession. I thought we had something going there. Martinez is going to try to switch up the fields. Gets it to Munoz on the back side. They're just playing it back and forth, trying to keep it away from the Lions right now. <coughs> Hendrickson will cross it over. Shot is whiffed. They had another chance to get a shot off, and they whiffed at it. <coughs> They'll chip it over the top. We held him on. Martinez just about scored again. Just under 19 minutes to go in the ballgame. 5-0 Hendrickson on top. Right now, Brandon Cordoso Sanchez, the sophomore keeper, is in the goal for the Lions. Lions trying to get it back there and Every time they get a chance to make a run, the defense is there for Hen uh, Hendrickson, and, and they shut it down. This is one of the best defensive teams I've ever seen. Yes, they've scored five goals, but their defense, I think, is better than their offense. Ruiz. Plays it in the middle. Franco. De Leon keeping an eye on Martinez over here. <coughs> Martinez will get it. <coughs> and he'll kill some time and play it back to his defense. So the Lions still looking for their first shot of the second half. Down 5 nothing to Hendrickson, the number one seed out of District 18. The Lions will finally record their first shot as Cruz gets one off. Keeper makes the save, and they're going the other way with it. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Now they're just playing keep away with it right now, and we really can't do anything about it. Setting up triangles all over the field and just kind of ping-ponging the ball around our players. 16 minutes to go in the ball game. 5 nothing. Hendrickson on top. Bodies flying everywhere. And referee finally steps in and calls a foul. He's going to stop it and throw a card, two cards. So he gets two players from Lockhart with yellow cards. <coughs> Keep in mind, since the 12 minutes to go in the first half mark, so for 52 minutes, the Lions have been playing a man short. They have been playing a man short for 52 minutes. Well, when the game is over, it'll be 52 minutes. <coughs> Both teams now putting in subs as we will see some of the younger kids get some playing time here on both sides. So it, they need a ball. We're all standing out here waiting on a ball. No one is in a hurry to give them a ball. The 
clock is stopped. I don't know how you would run out of soccer balls in a game. It's not like home runs when you hit them out of the park. You don't see them again. I mean, the balls stay on the football field. But for whatever reason, there is no ball on the soccer field. And we're all just standing around waiting to see what's going on. We have a kid right here below me with the ball. Now, trying to find out what's going on. The referee's now over and talking on the sidelines. I think I now know what's going on. So I finally found out the guy next to me uh, in the next booth they were asking for the referee or for the families in Lockhart's side to watch their language or they were going to cancel the rest of the game. A free kick is taken from way downtown. They, Caceres just about hit it in the goal. The Lions get it out of there. It is all kinds of rambunctious now as a lot of the bench players are playing in the match. We're going to have a little bit less uh, possession and a lot more of the, the kickball and heavy slide tackles. Five to nothing is the score. Fifteen and a half minutes to go in the ball game. The keeper will come out and make the play as that is Sanchez, the sophomore. Right now, it's just a lot of kickball going on out there. They still got some starters out there, do, do the Hendrickson kids. <coughs> They'll chip it in, and nothing there. Keepers there. They now have seven shots in the second half. The Lions just won. As I said at the conclusion of the game, we'll give you your offensive and defensive players of the game. We will uh, close up shop, and tomorrow night we will have Lady Lions softball. Game time, 7 o'clock. <coughs> the game time will be at 7 o'clock, and... and uh, First, well, I take that back. We'll go live probably about 6.50. The first pitch will be at 7 o'clock. Um, the last game that we covered, the Lady Lions were able to easily win that softball match. The other night, Anderson was in town, and, and uh, it was the battle of the two undefeated teams, and the Lions won 9-1. to one. Tamar Reyna hit two home runs. One was a two-run homer over the left center field fence, and then she had a grand slam over the left center field fence. And they were able to beat Anderson 9-1. to one. We'll have them tomorrow night. Hendrickson will take the shot from way outside. The keeper's there to make the save. As that was um, Waterworth that took the shot from way outside. A lot of pushing around going on as De Leon going up there against Kumordzi. Good move there by the Lions. 
DeLeon was able to beat his man. They go down the right side, trying to run it down for goes out of bounds, and they cannot do it. I, yeah, we have a sub coming in. That's why everybody stopped playing. I was trying to figure out what was going on. And here we go again. Sanchez Diaz sends it up the line. Lions going to turn and try to get a shot off, but it gets knocked out of bounds. It'll be a corner kick to the Lions. This will be their first one of the second half. So Lions will crash the back side of the goal. Corner kick is in. Keeper punches it out, and they were able to avoid anything major. Another sub coming in. Do want to give a little shout out to one of the ex Lady Lions soccer players. Callie Krenz today was able to get her first collegiate goal for Concordia University. She was about 22 yards away from the goal, got pushed, stayed on her feet, ripped a shot from the top of the box, and scored it up her 90. And at that point, the um, Concordia women were up 2 to nothing. But Callie Krenz, freshman at Concordia University, scored her first collegiate goal for the college. Fouls called on the field. The Lions will get a free kick. Eleven minutes to go in the contest. Five nothing. Hendrickson on top. They've got a good squad. We'll have to watch to see how far in the playoffs they're able to go. Lions don't get much off of that free kick. And coming out the other way. A foul called on the Lions. They're going to stop the clock. For the score being the way it is, they really, the players back on the field. They stopped the clock. He stood up. And now a trainer's coming out. They're going to put another player in for him. So they stopped the clock for him, which was fine. And then when the referee, he told the referee he was fine, the referee ran away from him, started the clock back up, and the kid fell down again. So they're now helping him off the field. Now the clock is moving. Hendrickson on another run. Lions clear it out. Sanchez Diaz Jr. on the ball. And now they're going to yellow card Sanchez Diaz Jr. And he will exit.
For a minute there, I thought they gave him a red card. I was looking around to see how many players we had. We still have 10 on the field. Munoz clear or kicks it way up the field. We clear it out. And now the Lions are trying to get something going. I'm glad I don't have a crowd mic out there tonight. I, I was going to, and I thought, no, I'm not going to do that. And from what I can hear through the glass, it's probably a good thing I don't have a crowd mic out there right now. It is loud and not in a cheering way. Eight and a half minutes to go in the contest. Free kick for the Lions. De Leon stepped up like he was going to take it, and now he is not. I cannot see the number on the kid that is taking the shot, but I'll have it for you momentarily. From about 30 yards out. And he scores. The Lions are on the board. Now we're going to find out who it was. I am not sure who it was that scored it. I think Carrillo Soto, a senior who doesn't play much, scored that goal. Fans are getting all excited now. This is now five to one, and as I get everything written down here, so if I read the kid's number right, Jose Carrillo Soto, a senior, as soon as he scored, they pulled him off the field. He put the free kick in, making it five to one right now. Now the Lions got a little pep in their step. Probably a little bit too late, but they're still playing hard. And bodies are flying everywhere, no calls. Lions really need to start looking for shots. It doesn't matter if it's a good shot or not. Just take shots. A foul is called on Martinez, and I think that may do it for him tonight. As he's starting to walk towards the sidelines, and he is coming out. He tripped up Daniel Sanchez Diaz, Jr., and he's up and gimping around a little bit. Lions will start play back up. Ball gets stolen away. <coughs> De Leon still playing hard on the defensive end. Five to one is your score here. Five, just under six minutes, basically, to go in the ball game. The Lions can say they were not shut out tonight. They've played hard. They've played well, but they are up against a very good soccer team. Ball sent long for Hendrickson. Cantera clears it out, and here we go the other way. Mar 
Miranda tried to get it up the field. They knocked it out of bounds. They said it, he touched it last. Hmm. Five minutes to go. Five to one is your score. I like the fact that they're trying to keep possession. That is the Lions, but we're at the time of the game where they just need to get the ball down the field with some direct passes and rip any shot they can find. No time to try to win the possession game. Just get that ball down the field and anywhere you can get a shot, start shooting. I believe that is Flores that is up front right now that they've been trying to serve the ball up to. Now Hendrickson trying to stay, play some keep away here. Doing a good job of setting up the triangles to do that. Not a whole lot to talk about other than they just keep passing it back and forth, and now they're going to make a run. And I have a feeling we're going to see another red card. Nope, he kept the pot card in his pocket. I thought we were going to see Bustos Miranda getting the red card. He's already He already has a yellow card. It will be uh, Munoz taking the free kick. This is going to be about a 35-yard kick. He chips it over the top. And the Lions were able to head it out of there. Two and a half minutes to go in the ball game. Lions get control. Oh, Diaz Sanchez Jr. Oh, I'm sorry, I did that backwards. Sanchez Diaz Jr. and and uh, Ramortes are uh, getting into it there. They might want to keep an eye on those two gentlemen. So back to playing keep away is Hendricksville right now. One and a half minutes to go in the contest. Five to one, the Lions are down. There's a hard tackle by DeLeon. Lions will steal the ball. One minute to go in the contest. There's a foul called on the Lions. Looks like Munoz. Well, Munoz was going to take the kick, but will give it up. No, it is Munoz. Oh, they went ahead and played it. <coughs> the Lions will get possession of it. 40 seconds to go. Ball is through. Running to try to get something on the board for the time expires. Shot or the cross is taken. A shot, but it's off. That's a second shot this half for the Lions. And the time is running out.
They stopped the clock with 10 seconds left for whatever reason. As I said, we'll have your offensive and defensive players of the game at the conclusion of the match here, which is going to be very shortly. Now the clock is running. And that will do it, folks. The Lions will drop one 5-1 to one tonight at home, and that will end their season. They played well. They played hard, but they fought up against a Hendrickson Hawks team that's really, really good. And that will bring the final score to 5-1. to one. I'm going to update the scoreboard. I'm going to talk to you about your offensive and defensive players of the game. And we're going to go ahead and close up shop here. Um, tonight, the stats are as follows. Hendrickson had 18 shots on goal. They got, had six corner kicks. For the Lions, they had six shots on goal and three corner kicks. 37-26 um, mark, Aaron Arroyo scored on a corner kick, <clears throat> making it one to nothing. Hendrickson. Xavier Martinez scored. On a nice shot, 28-53 mark, and that's how the first half ended. At the 37-26 mark in the second half, Xavier Martinez with the goal. At the 27-30 mark in the second half, Xavier Martinez with a goal. And they gave him the hat trick. 22-22 to go. What a big crowd here tonight. But 22-22 to go in the contest. And Jackson White scored a goal. And then with 7.51 to go in the game for the Lions, Jose Carrillo Soto scored off a free kick. And that's how they got their goal. So, again, the final score, 5-1. to one. Hendricks and Hawks are heading on into the playoffs. Now for your offensive and defensive players of the game, and since it's the last game of the season, we're going to give several out. On the Johnny and Sons side, defensively, Angel Cantera, the junior. Daniel Sanchez Diaz, Jr., the senior. And Ismael De Leon, the senior, are your Johnny and Sons defensive players of the game. On the other side of the board, the Chuck Nash offensive players of the game. Edgar Bustos Miranda, the junior. Jorge Olvera, the junior. Jose Ruiz Mendoza, the senior. And then the goal scorer, Jose Carrillo Soto, the senior. Those are your Chuck Nash offensive players of the game. Tomorrow night we'll have Lady Lions softball for you. Uh, we'll get on. We'll get on the air about 6:50. We'll get the first pitch at 7 o'clock, as they're playing Navarro at home tomorrow night. They're the undefeated in district play right now. They're the number one seed in District 17. So you'll want to tune in for that one. As you'll have, we'll have live video of it and uh, do the play-by-play. -play. Uh, Kerry Smith is hoping to be there to help me out and, and myself, Scott Smith, doing the play-by-play -play for that for you. want to give a shout-out to Rosie Vega. Thank you for being my QA tonight. Really appreciate having you on with me. And for myself, Scott Smith, I want to wish you all a good evening, and we'll talk to you again tomorrow night.